trivia here on mom and dad's wedding day in 1947. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it short. I don't remember. <laughs> they, were, they were married at 1030 at St. Rocco's Church in Cleveland and their wedding party attendants were Aunt Dorothy and Uncle George, Aunt Petrusa and Uncle Pat. The priest who married them was Father Catuso. Uncle Pat told me it was a mild winter day. Mom told me she was nervous getting ready, and then Aunt Rose came over that morning to help her with her veil. She gave Mom a blessing, and then Aunt Rose cried, probably because Mom looked so beautiful. After the wedding, the immediate family went back to Grandpa's house, the interesting old house on West 67th Street that's still there today. Aunt Rose and Uncle Phil cooked everyone breakfast. They took wedding pictures. Mom recalls visiting her aunt at the convent where she later donated her it wedding gown for the postulants to take their final vows in. The day continued with lunch huh? at a Hungarian restaurant on Lorraine Avenue. Then everyone rested. That evening, Mom and Dad held a reception at a Brutzi's Hall on West 69th Street, passing around, as was the custom, ham sandwiches stacked high in bushel-like baskets, pizza, and lots of Italian cookies. They danced to a live band, drank lots of mixed drinks, and enjoyed wedding cake and ice cream with about 100 guests. Dub. As Uncle Pat put it, the wedding day, typical of the times, began at 6 a.m. and lasted until mommy. about 1 a.m. the next day. It was truly a celebrated event. And for good reason, because 50 years later, here we are today. Although today's celebration is a bit more subdued and certainly not as long, we're still blessed and fortunate that some of the same people who were there at that reception 50 years ago are with us here today to celebrate their 50th anniversary. And for the close friends and family that were there in 1947 but have now passed on, I know Mom and Dad still remember and cherish them too. 
So let's raise our glasses and a toast. This is a celebration started 50 years ago. We're delighted to be here. And if I can get this right. <laughs> As a said in Italian, Dante salute Dante Algori. Many wishes, many greetings. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just remember what we used to say, uh, you know, at, at home. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we have lost to receive. From thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And God bless Mother and Dad. Grandma. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. Mom and Dad, were you expecting to do those wedding vows? Uh, no, actually, we didn't have to renew the vows. Why not? Uh, once you say I do, that's enough. <laughs> but that wasn't really a uh, renewal. He didn't say, do you take her for your wealth? Oh, okay. Do you take her? It was just like, do you renew or continue loving each other? Uh, no, not to I'm just kind of like I just want all my children to know I love them. I'm trying to be the best children in the whole world. I thank God every day for my children being under control. I really do every single day. I am going to the meeting. Oh, I just got a meeting. I just got a meeting. I just got a meeting. One time Give him a good bow. Make it a good one! <laughs> Just a little hug for you. Now I'm gonna sit down. Come on. You Catholics, come on. <laughs> Good job on that uh, story. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> well, that looks good, too. Yeah, it does look good. Are you going to go and eat? Yeah, I better go sit down. No, it wasn't good. I remember your... Uh, yeah, I remember your... Uh, you were there? <laughs> you took a train in today? How'd that go? It's all right, 14 hours. Oh, God. We were a half hour outside of Cleveland, and I guess there was a derailment five miles ahead of us, and we had to wait for the team to come and derail, or to whatever, get the derail bits out of the way. <laughs> good, everything's real good. Are you working yeah. on my illness? 
whatever the hell's wrong with me. <laughs> what are your symptoms, Angela? Don't know. <laughs> are you working on it? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I'm really counting on you that when I get it, I want you to be ready. <laughs> and then, I don't want anything that'll hurt me. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't wanna have any pain. <laughs> I always threaten my children, whatever I have has to last 20 more years, because I'm gonna be here, you know. <laughs> So you got 20 years for you. Well, what I do is I recycle yeah, these stories later on. I want to change it all. Yeah. 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 You hate it, huh? Yeah. But the alternative's not very good. I'm ready. That's, What's that's, the downside? The they the say one. your memory's the second thing to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't gone yet. Is that true? I don't we know. remember all the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, nothing seems good. I just remember all the hard times we had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good though. You feel good? Yeah. Last week. Well, he had somebody good. take care of him. Oh, who's that? See, that's the difference. <laughs> somebody comes in? Somebody comes in on the window. Yeah, I put on. <laughs> I'm put on sorry. Three, three sets of tires on my bike that's two years old. You hear this? Oh, he put some miles on. Yeah. He's, got, he's got a one speed. Yeah. One speed. No helmet, though. No, no helmet. helmet. No helmet. No helmet. No helmet. That's a bad yeah. sign. Would you mail us a helmet? We'll have to work on one for you. <laughs> yeah, that's good you're riding a lot. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> this is a true story. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm riding in the parkway on my bicycle, you know. I see this older guy riding in front of me, you know. Gentleman. So, yeah, an older guy. Gentleman. You know, so I pedal up to him, and, and we're talking. He says... He says, yeah, I'm going 50 miles today. You know, it's going to take him six or eight hours. I says, wow, you ride a lot. He says, well, he says, you know. The old lady's home. Yeah, yeah. he says, I'm married, you know. I said, yeah, well, I'm married too. He says, you know what? In 50 years of marriage, you think I would have been right once, just once. He said, I'm never right. He said, this bicycle saved me. This bicycle saves me. We took off this morning after I went to 6 o'clock mass. Uh -huh. 7 o'clock, it's daylight already. Yeah. So I think I'm going to take a ride. He did. I get home. He did. I get home. He did. I'm like in a garage and I'm he did. thinking, I look outside and it's like a blizzard. <laughs> Five minutes after I got home. He, he was just born. Made it. He he was yeah. born under this lucky, lucky star. Oh, yeah. he's a lucky star. Yeah, last week I met him on your It's true. It's true. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. I didn't know he was a great guy. No, I didn't know he was a great I don't know, but they get a few parts. The, and the kids know it by heart, but the kids know it by heart, but you can't help it to be the kids.